Hello, beloved soul friends. Welcome back to another Conversations with Kristen, that glory-filled time of your day where you explore human consciousness from the inside out. I want to talk a little bit about power. What does it mean to have power? Why does it matter? Like, what if you don't really care about being powerful? (laughs) So, power in general could be described as a lot of ways, but personal power is the term I specifically use. Personal power is having the innate capacity, the internal ability to choose the manner in which your brain becomes activated and rewired and to influence the styles in which you experience life through your consciousness. And all of this is done through 12 key attributes, two tools, 10 characteristics. Personal power is about, and I use this concept in my books and in my coaching. So if you're ever interested in my healing journey offerings through Kristen's Consciousness Consultancy, please explore my website below, or better yet, email me directly at artistryofexistence at gmail.com. I would be honored to connect with you and share insights about my services and products or schedule a call or, or share one of my books with you. So personal power is about consciously directing our energetic focus through intention and attention. And this determines the manner in which our brain's neural networks become activated and experience uh, rewiring or undergo trans- transformation. We have 100 trillion neural networks in our brain. Like, just take a moment and let that number boggle your mind. Whoa. 100 trillion. That's like a lot of zeros I can't count. Like, that's a really big number. It's a really vast, expansive plane of existence. Our brain is so complex. Like, scientists are still learning about it. We're thousands of years into our evolution as a human species and scientists are still like, the brain? Oh my God. Like we're still learning about it because it's so magnificent, wonderful and complex. So profoundly miraculous and beautiful. So we've got like a hundred trillion neural connections in our brain, neural pathways. And the manner in which we shift our intention and attention throughout our healing journey days directly impacts the styles in which those 100 trillion neural pathways become activated. Like, that's a whole lot of power. Uh, That's a whole lot of power. Every time a neural network becomes activated, it experiences some level of rewiring. So if we're having all these neural networks activated that are causing us stress or anxiety or provoking projections of past pains being experienced, we're going to experience some severe mental health battles that are really uncomfortable and scary and bleh, right? Not super fun stuff to go through. But if we can shift the activation of our neural networks so that those neural networks don't get so much energetic food and neural networks that feel a whole lot better get fed and grow bigger and stronger and more dominant, more prominent, then our entire experience of self and life can change. And it's all through personal power, through harnessing personal power, rising up into personal power, working to or intending, striving to embody personal power. So personal power is like really powerful, like, you know, not to like understate it, right? (laughs) Personal power is really powerful. So intention and attention directly impact the styles in which our brain become activated and rewired. Every single time a neural network is activated, it's undergoing some form of rewiring. So every time you're anxious about this one thing, it's coming from a neural network. And every time you think about it and every time you're feeling it, whether consciously or it's being, you know, unconsciously activated, that neural network is rewiring, 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 rewiring. So what if you had the power to choose how those neural networks are rewired? You start to experience panic. And instead of giving in and experiencing the panic, you grow this ability to observe the panic and redirect the energy of the neural network. That's what I did. That's what I did. Like it's, I'm still processing everything I've achieved in the past couple of years. It's like, what? How is that even possible? Oh my God, but it is. <laughs> and so for every neural network I was experiencing where there was this really, really indescribably deep pain, pain being provoked, I gained gradually, mind you, 
gradually gain the capacity to be present with it. Presence is our power. I talk about that, how presence is the first step in any kind of healing journey. Check out that video. (sighs) Gained presence. And then once I was present with the experience, redirected the energy of the experience. And I kept doing that. And then the neural network became rewired. And then I stopped having that original experience. Pretty cool. So personal power is really magnificent, wondrous, and important. And then there's 10 attributes of personal power. I'll go through at least some of them. But basically, in summary, these 10 attributes, when we focus on the energies, it can grow our cognitive capacities of consciousness. It can grow our ability to shift the styles in which our brain become activated and rewired. And it can increase our Um, power within consciousness because more of our consciousness will be right here right now having this experience and I talk about that in another video where it's about uh, where is consciousness and why does it matter Um, so harnessing the energy of these 10 attributes of personal power can really really grow and enhance the power that you have access to presence peace patience playfulness, pride, potential, perseverance, planting seeds, practice, and I forget which ones I've already said. (laughs) Patience, peace, playfulness, practice, planting seeds, pride, presence, perspective, potential. Anyway, there's 10 of them, (laughs) and they all start with me. (laughs) Um, And I talk about this in depth in my Restoring Consciousness Toolkit, and I'm in the process of writing a second one that goes into such great dynamic depths, you are going to be blown away. It gives you enough power to fully reclaim your personal power, connect with all of your subconscious parts through radically revolutionary brand new modalities of healing. I created this stuff from scratch. You won't find healing out there like this. It's magic. It's many, many magics. You'll be able to identify where and why every single thought is being generated from and have the power to completely transform and rewire all of your subconscious realms, subconscious parts, attachment systems, belief systems, memory systems, and the stimulus-dependent activation of neural networks. You'll have enough power to do all of that. So that's my upcoming mega, mega magics. I already have mega magics out them. Restoring Consciousness Toolkit, number one, and my Healing and Happiness Playbook. I also have a series of guided meditations. Any one of those pieces of content is guaranteed to have enough power to start providing some radical revolutionary transformation in your life. So please feel free to check out my website for more information or better yet, email me to inquire more or order your copy at artistryofexistence at gmail.com. Whew, I got so excited about the magics. Too many magics, man. Too much magics. Um, so personal power, these 10 attributes... Oh, yeah, I dive into the attributes in my book. That's what I was saying. Um, But they tapping into the energies of these things can help grow our power so that through intention and attention, we can have more authority in shifting the way that our brain's neural networks become activated and experience rewired. Because every time they're activated, which is all the time, every thought, every feeling, every moment, things are being activated. Every time they're activated, they're undergoing rewiring. And having power means choosing how they get rewired so that any aspect of life experience can become transformed, uplifted, and empowered. So that's personal power. (laughs) Um, And if you're ever looking for some healing journey guidance so that you have more resources, insight, clarity, guidance, and loving empowerment to rise up into your personal power by lovingly befriending the miraculous consciousness that carries you, please email me. I would be honored to connect with you through a consciousness consulting call. We share sacred healing space and I walk through your healing journey with you to help you identify what clues of consciousness you're experiencing, where they come from in your consciousness and why, and how to respond to them so that you have tools to apply every single day to fully reclaim your power, to welcome your consciousness back home to the present moment, to rewire your neurophysiology, and to cultivate a loving home inside of your being in the process. So please feel free to email me. I would be honored to connect with you through a consciousness consulting call. You can email me at artistryofexistence at gmail.com. If you have any questions, you can email me or check out my website, which the link is in the little description caption box thing below. Um, So let me know what you guys think about this concept. What is personal power to you? 
how much access do you have? How much access to personal power do you have? And how much does it matter to you? Is reclaiming your personal power a priority right now? Or do you want it to be? And what helps you to harness your personal power? Or what's stopping you from harnessing your personal power? Feel free to join in this conversation about consciousness in the comments below. I'd love to connect with you. Thank you so much for joining me in my many magics. Please do feel free to check out the links below. I also create content for Patreon. I've got merchandise on Teespring. I've got many, many magics to offer. And it's all, um, it's all to empower the everyday healing journey of life. Uh, thank you so much for joining me at Kristen's Consciousness Consultancy <laughs> Conversations with Kristen. It's been an honor to share this time with you, soul friends. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. And I'm sending you lots of love and light, soul friends. I will talk to you again soon.